Hello everybody. So I want to talk about the thing that's been going on, how it's happened. The sort of a mass creation of a golem, so to speak. There have been multiple tragedies on a grand scale that have occurred in the last, I would say, roughly 30 years, a little bit more than 30 years. And by that I mean there was something in, uh, on its way to space that uh, didn't make it, and it was roughly 1986. There was uh, an attempt on the Twin Towers in the early 90s, I think it was. In the mid-90s it was Oklahoma City. School shootings start, started shortly after that uh, on a grand scale, uh, you know, and really tragic uh, tragic way theatrically and of course the big event roughly 20 years ago and a few others subsequent to that and what this has done is it's it's sort of made a golem we sense even those people who deny who totally believe narratives they believe it their subconscious doesn't subconscious kicks at them uh, kicks at them repeatedly and what happens with that is it creates sort of an altar within them. It creates a compartment, a creature, so to speak, a thought form, something that eventually acts of its own accord within the body and furthers the cause of those behind these events and, and those who have the vision to carry through from these events to what's going on now. I had the vision, I should say. And the golem is the clay creature that we don't that that comes out at night, so to speak. It's a, a dark creature of the of the soul. It's a hidden place in the soul, and and it enacts certain things within us, enables them to take place, whether it be sickness, um, belief, ob obedience, sycophantic behavior. That's coming from uh, an altar, uh, another room within, that, that's slowly been cultivated and created within. And it happens quicker in those younger, those who haven't experienced those events. It happens much quicker. Um, it's sort of like, uh, it's, it's sort of the real way viruses actually communicate. You know, they don't, they don't come out in our snot, they don't come out in our breath. They're not floating in the air. It's uh, thought forms. It's informational field connectivity. So that's why you can see children, um, young adults, I should say, um, really falling in line with this because they're still very wide open. That's a, it's a chaotic informational field that they still have. They haven't begun to order things yet. Now, the beauty of that is that they can still see if they are focused in the right way or even if they choose to. Um, but usually... Usually they don't. They're too busy with this material world. The material world is so fascinating. You ever watch a baby get used to its own body, get used to its surroundings? It's, it's fascinated by the material, even though it's probably still very, very connected to the unseen. Uh, children are like that, much less so, but there's young adults are like that, much less so, but they're still like that. Um, so that's how this, I believe this thing has been created. It's it's a golem, and it's a mythological creature. It's it's an uh, occulted Frankenstein, so to speak, that's walking around right now. Uh, are we going to be able to put it away? I don't know. Um, snap out of it? Uh, will it be embarrassment upon the realization if, if that happens? Yeah. Uh, that uh, I believe that this is what is going on right now. Uh, if you see through it, you're lucky, and uh, you're you're one of the uh, to use another term from that similar mythology. You're chosen, I guess. Ultimately, though, uh, it's a small matter. So have a good day.